Research during this election season showed immigration was the second most important factor to voters behind the economy. With Donald Trump's win, the question is, how soon will immigration policies change? Jacqueline Kelly Widmer, clinical professor of law at Cornell, predicts more fear-based tactics targeting immigrants. So we will see a return to that kind of randomized um, deportation and enforcement. And uh, we'll see increased efforts to deport as many people as possible, including those with longtime residents in the U.S. And um, so mixed status families are going to be back at a new level of caution. And maybe those with, with status will be taking more responsibility to protect those who don't have it. Nearly 5,000 families were separated at the U.S.-Mexico border under President Donald Trump's zero-tolerance immigration policy, which sparked global outrage. In the days before Election Day, Trump made his immigration stance clear, vowing to restore the 1798 Alien Enemies Act. I will invoke the Alien Enemies Act of 1798 to target and dismantle every migrant criminal network operating on American soil. This law allows the president to detain and relocate or deport non-citizens who are from a country that's considered an enemy country of the U.S., but that's during wartime. And so this act originally allowed any male over the age of 14 who was not a naturalized citizen to be removed, and that has been expanded to women. But it was historically about a fear of French supporters living in the U.S., when the U.S. was on the brink of war with France. The act has been invoked three times, most recently during World War II when the U.S. had a role in the internment of people of Japanese descent. Since January 2021, there have been 6.3 million migrant encounters at the U.S. southern border, with over 2.4 million allowed entry according to Homeland Security data. What Trump is going to try to do is increase deportations and increase the use of a tool called expedited removal that allows people to be deported without having their day in court. We'll also see involvement of the military at the border, most likely expanded detention. Whether or not that's family separation, I think remains to be seen, but, um, but the Trump campaign has promised detention camps at the border um, and increased building of the border wall. Here in our region, over 50 percent of farm workers in upstate New York are undocumented, according to research by Cornell University. Already, I am receiving calls from farm workers who are really afraid. They said, I heard Trump was elected. Are they going to deport me? And so we see an immediate impact already, even before the Trump presidency has begun. Upstate New York is surrounded by multiple immigration enforcement agencies. Kelly Whitmer says she's already witnessed migrant workers getting picked up by ICE or CPP. So we're going to see fear in the immigrant work community, worker community here, and also um, some real detriment to our employers, our farmers, who will have an even more difficult time getting workers. If you or someone you know is a part of the immigrant community, Professor Kelly Widmer recommends staying informed by following Informed Immigrant. It's an organization that puts out updates around what's going on in different immigration litigation and policies.